So if you have to put a name to it, we typically call it subtract a friendly number over. Kind of like on that um, workout, remember that one kid who added a friendly number over? I think it was adding 300 and then they backed up. Typically, we call this one subtract a friendly number over and then adjust. Okay, Edwin, what'd you get? 23. Anyone else get 23? Can we get something different? Okay, Edwin, what did you think about for that one? I'm going to use the problem above. In what way? So 62, 62 they match. Minus 40, I already knew it was 22, so I have an extra one. So if you know 62 minus 40 is 22, then did you take off too much or not enough? I took off too much. That would be too much. And so instead of taking off 40, then you really only want to take off 39. Mm -hmm. Then your answer is just going to be one more than that. Anyone else think about it like Edwin did? Yeah, a couple of these. What about this one? 1,133 minus 1,000. Super simple. You're just writing the positive answer. 1,133 minus 1,000, which we all know is, say it again, 133. Okay, again, I'm going to sketch just a picture of those. 1,133 minus 1,000 is 1,133. Let me ask you this one. What is 1,133 minus 995? Becky, what did you get? Uh, 138? Can anyone else get 138? Can anyone get something different? Becky, I saw something interesting on your paper. Can you tell me what you um, wrote down? Uh, drew a number line. It was uh -huh. the 1133 at the right side. Okay. Yes. Did the backward zero to the left minus 1,000, which took me back to the 133. Uh huh. And then I added five. Why did you add five? Because the 995 was five less than 1,000. So I actually found it interesting because when I walked up, this was the first thing I saw in your paper. It was just like a plus five, which was interesting. And you could represent what you were thinking here. You said, if I subtract 1,000, then that's going to put me at 133. But this is too much. Mm -hmm. How much too much? Five. five too much, and so I can adjust that by putting five back on to get to 138. Did anyone else do exactly what Becky did? He took off a thousand, said too much, and I'm going to adjust. Yeah? Uh, let me ask you this one. What is 56.6 minus 40? 56.6 or 56 and 6 tenths minus 40 or 56 dollars and 60 cents minus 40 is what, guys? 1660, 60.6. Okay, again, I'm going to go ahead and make a model of that. And I think we just know what 40 less is. So let me ask you this one. What is 56.6, 56 and 6 tenths minus 39 and 99 hundredths? Kenna, what did you get for your answer? 16.61. Did anyone else get $16.61 or 16.61? Okay, Hannah, talk to us about how you subtracted this. This problem is pretty up. I started with where we were at before and I subtracted 40 to get the 16 and 60 cents. And then I said, well, it's one penny off, or the $39.99 is one penny off of the 40. So then I added the penny back. So you said, I know what $56.60 subtract 40 would be. That would put me at 1660. Mm -hmm. But I don't need to subtract 40? No. I only, I only need to subtract $39.99. So how can I adjust when I took off 40? How do I adjust that you took off too much? 
it's different by a penny, so I added the penny back. So you added the penny back on? Yes. So right here, bink, plus another penny, and $16.60 plus a penny is $16.61. Kirby, it looked like you did the same thing that Hannah did. Used this previous problem, took off 40, and then added a penny back on. Did anyone else do the same thing? Took off too much, and then just add some back on? Okay, cool. What about this one? Five and one fourth minus four. Which is one and a fourth. Again, I'm going to represent that by just saying I know five and a fourth minus four is going to put me at one and a fourth. So let me ask you about um, this one. Six and one fifth minus three and four fifths. What? It's not related. wonder if you can use this idea of taking off too much and then adjusting. So, Heather. You good? Heather, what did you get as your answer? Two and two-fifths. Two and two-fifths. Did anyone else get two and two-fifths? Maybe get something different? Okay, Heather. Were you first expecting for this problem to be like the super helpful for this one? It's kind of what I've done, right? Kind of. Gave you yeah, an easy your one. pattern has been that. Gave you an easy one, use it. Right. Gave you an easy one, use it. Right. Oh, I switched right. to fractions. Right. Your, your brain's now maybe thinking a little bit fractions. And then what, if, what did you do here? Well, I had to add a fifth to get the three and four fifths to four. Oh, so I think what I actually saw you say was, I'm going to get rid of four. Like, I'm gonna like make you that subtracted four. four. Okay. Right. So you had six and one fifth on your paper, uh -huh. and you said, I'm going to get rid of four. Right. Why four instead of three and four fifths? Because four is easier. Because it's nicer. Everybody, I think, in the world would rather subtract four than three and four fifths. So when you did that, where did you land? At two and one fifth. Okay, cool. Two and one fifth. So you subtracted too much or not enough? Too much. Too much. So then how did you adjust it? Then I had to add a fifth. Why a fifth? Went, because I went over, I added the fifth, one fifth to the four fifths to make the three and four fifths four. So when you subtracted four, that was one fifth too, too much. much. So I had to add that one fifth. If I subtracted too oh, much, and I gotta add it back yeah. on. And do we know what two and one fifth plus another fifth is? Two and two fifths. Two and two fifths. Who can say what Hannah, or Heather just did? Can somebody over here describe what Heather just did? Dominic, can you give it, can you give this a shot? No? <clears throat> Edwin, can you make sense of what Heather just did? Took away four. Why four? Because it was close to one of the prettier numbers instead of three and four fifths. Because it's nicer than three and four fifths, right? Right. Okay. But then she had to add back the one fifth because that completes three four fifths plus one fifth. Four. So even though we're talking fractions now, Heather, you did the same thing that was happening here. Let me take off too much and then adjust. Let me take off too much and then adjust. Let me ask you another question. What if I asked you seven and three tenths minus two and ninety-eight hundredths? Uh, Kirby, what did you get? Four and thirty-two hundredths. Four. And 32 hundredths. Anyone else get four and 32 hundredths? Let me get something different. Kirby, talk to me. How did you think about this particular problem? I added two, two hundredths to the two and ninety-eight hundredths. Okay. I get an even three. Okay. And then I subtracted that from the seven and three tenths. So you said seven and three tenths. I'm going to subtract three. Can we just call this dollars? Dollars. 
Can we just call it dollars? So you had seven dollars and thirty cents, and you subtracted three. And where did that land you? Four dollars and thirty cents. Four dollars and thirty cents. Is everybody cool with that? She subtracted three and landed at four dollars and thirty cents. Yeah. And then Kirby, had you subtracted too much or not enough? Too much. Too much. How much? Too much. Two cents. Two cents too much. And if you subtract two cents too much, then how can you adjust it? I added two cents. Back. Adding two more cents back on. I have a, a quick question for you. I didn't give you a helper problem here. How did you decide how much you were going to subtract? Well, look, I don't know. It, was, it seemed easier to go to three rather than go to 50 cents. We, when you're going to subtract two dollars and ninety eight cents, does that feel close to three dollars for you? Does it feel close to three bucks for anyone else? Cool. Last one. What if I gave you eight and two tenths, or eight dollars and twenty cents, and I ask you to subtract three dollars and ninety five cents? I wonder if there's something close to that that feels like it would be easier to subtract. Okay. Anita, this is kind of a yucky problem. How did you tackle this one? What did you get? Can you tell me what you got first? Tell the answer. Yeah, so we can all agree on what. Four dollars and twenty-five cents. Anyone else get four twenty-five? I love how somebody's in the back are like four twenty-five. Okay. How did you tackle this problem? I changed it three dollars and ninety-five cents to four dollars. Okay. And then I subtracted the eight twenty minus the four dollars. Then I had to add the five back. Sounds like you did kind of what Kirby said and what uh, well Hannah and Becky and Heather. You said I don't like what's going on here, Kim. Thanks for that problem. So I'm gonna just take off more than I need and make it four twenty. But since I I took off too much then I have to adjust. And how much did you have to adjust? Five cents. Five cents. Why five cents? Because to get to, from three dollars and ninety-five cents to four dollars is five cents. Because it's the difference between what you were supposed to subtract and what you actually subtracted. So where, let me ask you one question. Where is the four dollars and ninety-five cents then? Three. If that was the original problem that you were supposed to subtract, where hmm. is the, four, the three dollars and ninety-five cents? It's still there. It's yes. still there. Where? Mm -hmm. It's just manipulated what you needed. Yeah, nice. Where can I find it on this model? Can't even idea? Since you're subtracting four, that's like saying negative four, and then the five cents is positive. And if you had four negatives plus five hundred that was positive, that would equal three and not five. So is it this space right here? Yes. 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 This is the three dollars and ninety-five cents. Nice. Who could put into words? I've been saying a lot of words here. As you're trying to um, record, you're thinking, maybe some of you are starting to try to model it. And um, maybe you're finding that it's a little bit more difficult to record your thinking than it is to think your thinking. And we'll talk about that at another time. Um, somebody put into words. If down at the bottom on this problem string page, it says, what strategy, big idea, or model are we trying to bring out? You have an idea, Kirby? Is it to add to and back it up? Or no? I don't know. You're adding to it, but you're not already backing up. Moving forward. Kirby's saying you're adding to it, you're kind of backing up. Moving what could forward. we call this idea that you guys are, a lot of you are using at this point? The first move is taking away a friendly number. Mm -hmm. Okay. So subtract a friendly number? Any friendly number? Are we getting to a friendly number? Are we subtracting a friendly number? Seems like we're subtracting. Like here's, we subtracted 40, subtracted 40, subtracted four, subtracted three. I don't know that I would normally call three a friendly number, but it's certainly friendlier than the decimal. 298. So subtract a friendly number. Did we do it in little tiny jumps? in order to land where we wanted to land? Or did we do one big, one big giant 
almost every time, right? Mm -hmm. Let's subtract way big and go over, maybe too far, and then adjust. So if you have to put a name to it, we typically call it subtract a friendly number over. Kind of like on that um, workout, remember that one kid who added a friendly number over? I think it was adding 300, and then they backed up. Typically, we call this one subtract a friendly number over, and then adjust. 